All right then, we're going to take this to a good amount of hip opening today. Um, we're taking this to an Ekapatakunyasana 2, or I will call this the hurdler's balance. Sometimes this is called the flying splits. Um, whatever you want to call it, I'll just stick to hurdlers. So what we're gonna, what's going to happen here is we're going to do a lot of work basically in the inner thighs, get into the hamstrings quite a bit as well, definitely a hip opener. And this is pretty much a demonstration before, that I have before we begin. So the way we're going to come into this pose is at the end of each sequence, you're going to come into this almost all fours position. So I have both hands down on the floor, one knee down, one foot forward behind the wrist on the same side. And so my left foot's behind my left wrist. Now with that front leg, you need to lift the heel up off the floor, keep the knee high outside your arm. And this is how you're gonna take this into the arm balance here. Now keep in mind, you're probably gonna have to adjust a little bit and squirm around, maybe move a little bit side to side. This does take a little bit of twisting, depending on how long your limbs are in relation to your torso. So to come into this, your shoulders are gonna pull forward, your elbows pull back underneath you like you come into Chaturanga. And my left leg's forward, it's gonna lean over to the right side, put my ribs on my right arm. My left leg goes on my left arm, I'm gonna lift my left foot. And then look forward, lean forward to lift the back leg. And keep in mind, people usually come to this point and get a little bit stuck and they can't quite lift. It's because they're not shifting forward enough to lift that back leg up off the floor. If you want to take it further, you can extend the front leg out as well. It takes a pretty open hamstring, but work it as best you can. If you've got a pretty open split, then you'll basically be horizontal toward the floor. Um, and if you can pull it off to that point, go ahead, take it there. We'll take it through the vinyasa from here. You can step it back to plank or just fly your leg back and come into chaturanga. But work it as best you can. See how far you're ready to go toward this here. And we'll take a good amount of prep before we get to that point. And this will definitely deepen your progress toward a regular front to back split. So just have that in mind. So all that said, let's go ahead and get this started. Come down onto your back. And once you're down, pull your knees into your chest and just squeeze everything in tight for a moment. And we'll take this even further. So go ahead and reach between your knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. And let's bring this into happy baby. So go ahead and stack your ankles above your knees and then pull down. So work as best you can to press your knees down toward the floor outside your ribs. Press your feet back up into your hands at the same time and engage as much as possible here. Just hold that tension in both directions. Now work here to flatten out your spine as much as possible. Sink your tailbone down toward the floor. Keep pulling down, keep pressing up with your feet. And then take an inhale here. And with the exhale, just keep your position, but relax the tension. So keep the hands active enough to keep holding on to your feet, but relax your arms otherwise. Let your shoulders sink down. Try to let your body just flatten out against the floor. And let go of any tension around the hips as well. Let the knees just stay low just by the weight of your hands. When you're ready here, just close your eyes. So give yourself a moment to settle in like this. Let your mind quiet down. And as you settle in, just feel this out. Let the weight of your arms sink your legs, sink your knees further toward the floor. And then start to deepen your breathing here. So with your inhale, pull in as much air as you can. Try to fill up your lungs and hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And then just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales, as you breathe. And just keep breathing like this to start. Now when you're ready, here, take a deep inhale. And when you exhale, just open your eyes. And then go ahead, release your grip. Bring your arms down to your sides. Bring your feet down to the floor, about hips with distance apart. And just stay on your back, and we'll take this slow here to begin. So with your next inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then with the exhale, bring your arms down to your sides. Inhale, reach this out long. Exhale, arms to your sides. Inhale, reach this out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Inhale, reach this out long. 
And with your exhale, bring the arms down, but then curl up as well. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. Stay lifted here for a moment. Belly pulled in, low back down. Stretch forward through your fingertips. Let's go back and forth curling like this. With your next inhale, roll this out. And then with the exhale, curl forward. Inhale, roll this out now. And then with the exhale, curl forward, stretch forward through your fingertips. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl forward again. Inhale, roll this out. And then with the exhale, curl forward, stay lifted like this. And as you hold onto that lift, keep the right foot on the floor, extend your left leg straight up toward the ceiling as best you can, and reach for the big toe. Now keep your belly pulled in your low back down. See about lowering that left leg toward a 45 degree angle. Now you can bring it up higher or take it down lower, but keep your belly and keep your low back down. And we're just gonna go back and forth curling with this position. So with your next inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl forward, keep your low back down, keep your left leg as is. Inhale, roll this out again. And then with the exhale, curl this forward. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl forward again, keep your low back down. Inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl forward. Try to take it further. Stretch to your fingers. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl forward again. Stay lifted. Pull your left knee in for a moment. And then set your left foot down and switch this out. Extend your right leg straight up. Now reach the toes. Try to keep the leg as straight as you can. Low back stays down. Lower your left leg toward a 45 degree angle. Maybe lower, maybe higher, but be sure your low back stays on the floor. And then back and forth on this side with your next inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl forward again. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl forward, keep your low back down. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl forward. Inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl and take it further through your fingers. Inhale, roll this out long. And then with the exhale, curl forward one more time. Now stay lifted, draw your knees into your chest, squeeze in, and then just relax your head for a moment. And go ahead, pull your knees out wide. You can rock this a little bit side to side, but just breathe here. And then if you're moving side to side, bring this back into center. Now keep the knees close to your chest, but release your grip. And then hands above your face. Now keep your palms open, interlace your fingers, face the palms toward the ceiling. And then bring the hands past your head so you can actually see the ceiling from here. Now keep the elbows out wide, keep the shoulders wide, and keep your chest open. And we're just use this, we'll use this for a variation of a supine twist. So go ahead and bring your knees to the right side and bring your left elbow to the floor. Keep both shoulders grounded. And then bring it through center. Bring the knees to the left and bring that right elbow down to the floor. Back through center here, left elbow down, bring your knees over to the right again. And then take it through center. Right elbow comes down as the knees go left. And then one more round, take it back through center. Left elbow down, knees sink to the right. Now just let the legs sink low, but keep the right leg off the floor. Keep your left elbow down. If you want to take it further, maybe extend your left leg a little bit further, right? And then go ahead, bring it through center. Knees go to the left side. Bring the right elbow down to the floor. Let your body twist. Keep both shoulders down. You can always extend your right leg further left if you want to take this just a little bit deeper into the twist. And then go ahead, bring this back into center. Release your grip and bring your feet down to the floor. Now, arms down at your sides. We're going to set this up for a var variation of bridge. So go ahead, bring the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Soles of feet to touch, knees out wide. And then bring the heels in close enough that you can start with your low back basically flat. And then bend the elbows. Bring the forearms up to vertical. Make your hands in the fists. Now if you keep the fists clenched, keep your elbows pressing down and keep your gaze up high. And we'll take this up and down. So with an inhale, press into your feet. Squeeze your glutes and lift your hips. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, press this up high. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press this up high, and then with the exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips high, keep your knees wide. And then with the exhale, roll your spine down. Now with your next inhale, lift your hips and just hold. Now keep your glutes squeezed and keep the hips lifted, but still pull the knees out wide. Keep your fists clenched with the elbows pressing down and just keep breathing.
And then take a deep inhale. With the exhale, roll this back down. Now once you come down, knees to chest, hands to knees, squeeze this in again. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, bring your nose close to your knees. And now stay lifted. Reach forward between the knees. Take hold of your big toes and bring the legs back into Baddha Konasana. Soles and feet together, knees out wide. Draw the elbows in around your waist. And keep your shoulders lifted. Lift your tailbone as well. Stay curled. Now keep your spine rounded here as best you can. You're going to get stuck otherwise because we're going to roll this back and forth. So when you're ready, just roll back toward the shoulders and then toward the tailbone. And just keep taking this back and forth at your own pace. Now, ideally, you take this back and forth about five times. And when I bring this up, holding the legs in this position for a variation of both. So when you're ready, bring it up onto your sit bones. If you land on your feet, just draw back. And then find your balance here. Soles feet together, knees still wide. Draw the elbows in around your waist. Draw the shoulders back. Now, try to take any rounding out of your spine. Press your chest forward and just sit this up tall. Just hold. And then as you're balancing from here, just keep the left leg where it is. Extend your right leg forward and up, and then bring that right foot back into center. And then with your left leg, extend this forward and up, and then pull both feet in, back to center, back to Baddha Konasana, right leg forward and up again, keep your balance, and then come back into center, extend your left leg forward and up, and then come back to center here. Now with both legs, start to extend forward, maybe just a little bit, maybe take this up all the way, but again, sit this up tall. Keep your gaze forward. Try to press your low back forward as well. Keep the thighs close to your belly. And then, of course, you got to make it a little bit harder. I want you to try to hold this shape as best you can. Keep the legs as they are. And very slowly release your grip and just keep your position. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands, and find all fours. And then once you're in all fours, give yourself a moment here, move around. Stretch your hands, stretch your fingers with the shoulders and hips move side to side and just feel things out. Loosen up your spine. And just feel out where you're loose, where you're tight for a moment. And then once you're ready, just bring yourself into center in all fours. I'm going to take this into the wrist. So go ahead, slide your hands in, right in front of your knees, flip them over. Back to the hands down, palms facing up, the fingertips point toward you. Now spread your fingers out wide, press your fingertips down, flatten your hands, straight arms, press your spine up toward the ceiling as high as you can. And maybe just stay here. Now keep your hands tense with your fingertips pressing down. If you want to take it just a little bit further, you can sway your shoulders side to side. Or you can start to move just back toward your heels and then lean forward, but keep the hands engaged and keep them flat. Now, if you can take it further without lifting your hand, see about coming up onto your right foot. And then step up onto the left as well. The hands are still grounded. And then one at a time, put your feet on your palms. Try to bring the toes all the way to your wrist creases. And then just feel this out from here. Now, go ahead and dig your toes down to the hands, maybe into the wrists. And you can play around this a little bit. There's lots of possibilities. You can lift one heel and then maybe lift the other. See how much weight you want to take on your hands. But keep the hands tense with the fingertips pressing down. And if you want to take this into the hamstrings as well, keep your hands grounded like this, but maybe pull the elbows to the sides and start to straighten your legs and draw yourself further down. Just take this as far as you can. You can always lift both heels, but remember, there's nothing forward of you to catch your face if you fall. And then from wherever you are, just keep the hands grounded still, fingertips still pressing down. Go ahead, remove your feet from your hands, and then come back down onto the right knee, and then down to the left. And then once you're down, just come up onto your fingertips, walk your hands forward, come to your regular all fours for a moment. And then from here, we'll take another stretch. So go ahead and slide the hands just a little bit closer to your knees, maybe about one hand's length. And with your palms facing down, rotate your hands, fingertips out to the side and then in toward your knees. Come as far on that rotation as you can with both hands. Set your hands flat, spread the fingers wide, grip the floor with your fingertips. Press your spine up toward the ceiling, keep the shoulder blades spread apart. You can always stay here, maybe sway the shoulders side to side, maybe move forward and back, but keep the fingers active, keep gripping. Now, if you're able to take this further, start to work this with bent arms. Shoulders forward, pull the elbows in toward each other. You don't have to lower very far, and then press back up the straight. And let's go ahead and take it back and forth like this. Now, keep gripping as you're moving. Let that additional stretch work its way up into the forearms. And try to take it down a little bit lower each time. Now, as you come down, rather than hanging your head, look forward, pull your chest forward as well. Squeeze the elbows toward each other. Get them underneath your ribs. And then the next time you bring this forward with the elbows pulled in, just stay low. Now, keep the elbows pulled in. Maybe focus more weight on your hands. If you want to take this foot, 
Keep your position, keep your grip, but extend your right leg straight back and reach for the big toe. Now keep the big toe pointed down, but then bring that right foot as far left as you can. Keep that le right leg straight. Now to take this further still, start to pulse, pulse and lift that heel up higher on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now keep the upper body as is. Bring the right knee down. Extend your left leg straight back. Reach to the big toe. Point the big toe down. Keep the leg straight. And then bring the left foot as far to the right as you can. Keep gripping the floor. And then pulse, bring the left heel up high. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left knee down. And then come up onto the fingertips. Come down to sitting on your heels and just take a moment. Shake your hands out. Loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. And once you're ready, come back down to all fours. Now, wrists need the shoulders, knees and eat the hips just to set this up. And we're going to warm up the hips and take things a bit further. So go ahead and step your right foot forward outside your right hand. And with that right foot forward, just start to sink down. Bend to the elbows, come down low inside the right thigh. And then move back, forward, side to side, maybe circle around inside the right leg. And if your right inner thigh is tight at all, you should feel that. And then just bring it into center, pressing your palms, bring the right knee down. Step your left foot forward outside the left hand. And then again, just move around. Bend to the elbow, sink inside your left leg. Start to move forward, back, side to side. You can circle around. And then just go ahead, bring this back up the straight arms and come back to center with your left knee down. Now step your right foot forward outside your right hand again. Tuck the toes of your left foot, lift your left knee. And then just hold. Now keep your arms vertical, shoulders rest, grip the floor with your fingertips. And then just step the right foot straight back next to the left. This brings you into plank. Bring your left foot forward outside your left hand. Keep the arms vertical. Step your left foot straight back. This puts you into plank. And then bring the right foot forward outside your right hand. Now keep the arms vertical. Move your hips straight up and down. Now you can keep walking back and forth, switching one foot at a time like we just did. Otherwise, we're going to hop this on three. Now keep in mind, to hop this, the higher you can lift your hips, the more time and space you have to move. So let's do this together. One two, three. Now keep the arms vertical, take it back and forth. One, two, three. Again, try to lift your hips high. One, two, three. Back and forth. One, two, three. Now keep digging into the fingertips, keep the arms vertical, shoulders or wrists. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we'll take one more round. Try to bring your hips up high and land as silently as you can. One, two, three, and then one, two, and three. And then go ahead and bring your left knee down, bring the right knee down as well. And once you come back into all fours, give yourself a moment here, move around. Now from all fours, we're going to work this into a little bit of a push up here. And this is pretty much going to be working with the setup that we're going to use for the hurdlers balance. So from all fours, we're the shoulders and knees underneath the hips to set this up. Now slide your hands in close to the knees, maybe about one hand's length. And see that your fingers are rotated to the side. So index finger points forward. You can even rotate your hand further right or left. Now go ahead, press your palms, grip the floor, step the left foot forward behind your left wrist. And then lift your left heel. Keep that left knee high outside the upper arm. Now just lean your shoulders forward a little bit, straight arms, and then bend the elbows a little bit underneath you. Now while you hold on to this, lift your left foot, keep that left leg pressing into your left arm, and we'll go from up to down. Now shoulders forward, bend the elbows, at least sink down toward halfway. If you want to go further, touch your nose down to the floor, and then press back up with your left foot lifted. Again, shoulders forward, bring this down, take this to where you can, and then press back up for two. Shoulders forward, sink down low at least halfway. Press back up for three. Shoulders forward, pull the elbows underneath you. And then press back up for four. Shoulders forward, let the elbows bend, sink down low. And then press back up for five. And come back to all fours. Take a breath or two. And of course, we do it with one leg, you gotta do it on the other as well. So when you're ready, step your right foot forward behind your right wrist. Now lift your right heel, keep the right knee high outside the arm. Now lean the shoulders forward, bend into the elbows a little bit. Right leg presses to the right arm, lift the right foot and keep the foot lifted. And shift a little bit left. Now again here, shoulders forward, bend the elbows at least halfway, sink down. And then press back up for one. 
shoulders forward, pull your elbows in, take it down to where you can. And then press back up to two. Shoulders forward, pull your elbows in, sink down. And then press back up for three. Shoulders forward, draw your elbows in, come down low. Press back up for four. Shoulders forward, bring the elbows in. And then press back up for five. And release, come back down to all fours. And from all fours, just take a moment to breathe here, move around. Now you can stay here, breathe, take another stretch, whatever you like. But whenever you're ready, go ahead, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, and find your downward facing dog. Now once you move into position, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Now press your palms flat so you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. Sink your chest down low to the floor. And as your chest sinks down, press your hips up as high as toward the ceiling as you can. Now keep that long reach to the hips and draw in from your belly around the lower ribs. Keep the hips pressing high. And if your legs are tight, if your hamstrings are tight, you can bend the knees or just puddle this out and stay loose and let your hips move side to side. When you're ready here, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward and step this to the front of the mat. Let's take a rag doll forward. Now feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs. Let your head hang. Let your spine round. And just let everything go long and loose and let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands on the floor. You can reach to opposite elbows if you like and maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then when you're ready from here, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin. And then just slowly restack your spine. So round this up to vertical. And bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Take a moment to breathe. Set an intention. Let your mind clear. Find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips. Start with a straight spine. Put a little bend in your knees. Keep your core engaged. Move smoothly and then release at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift this up halfway. Fingertips to the floor to your shins. Lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat. And step this back to high plank. Now find your shape, resink the shoulders, palms press to the floor, press the floor away from you, press your spine up toward the ceiling, and keep that lift. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Keep your body in line, elbows pulled into your sides, and lower with control, all the way down to your belly. Now once you're down, flatten the feet out behind you, hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. And let's take this up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time. Now just stay lifted. Now keep the lift in the upper body, press into your feet. Take some of all the weight out of your hands. Elbows at your sides, pull the shoulders back, keep your gaze forward. And work to lift this up a little bit higher still. Take an inhale. Exhale, roll back down. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. Press the palms down to the floor. And let's take it upward facing dog. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward. Let your hips hang. Stay in the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active. Work to lift your knees up from the mat. To take it further, kick your feet down. Squeeze your glutes. Pull the hips forward to deepen and lengthen the arc through the front. Now lift up with your arms and lift with your shoulders. Keep your neck long. Keep your chest pulling forward. Take an inhale. With the exhale, pull your belly, hips up high to down dog. Now pedal out for a moment, let your hips move side to side. Now for me, down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. And with your right leg lifted, open to a scorpion dog right away. So bend the right knee, hang your right foot left, open up your hip. With the next inhale, straighten the right leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrist. Now inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to right elbow. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow again. Now stay forward, stay lifted around your spine. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, just set the right foot down outside the right hand. 
Now keep your arms vertical, shoulders to your wrist, pressing your palms. Move your hips straight up and down. Now you can walk it back and forth, and we'll hop this again on three. So from here, one, two, three. One, two, three. Back and forth. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now one, two, and three. So it's left foot forward, right foot back. Bring that left foot between your hands. And the left foot's your base foot. Pull the right knee into your chest, round your spine. Keep your belly touching your left thigh. Now we're gonna go back and forth from this curled up position, opening up to a half moon. So your left hand stays in the floor. Forward to the left foot, but further left, lean to your left side. And then take this back and forth. With an inhale, reach, raise your right arm high, extend your right leg back, open to the right side. Exhale, curl this in. Inhale the right arm high and right leg back. Exhale, curl in. Inhale the right arm high, right leg back. Exhale, curl in again. And then inhale the right arm high and right leg back and hold here. Now you can keep the left knee bent if you need to, straighten leg if you can. Keep the right arm reaching up and keep your chest open to the right side. Now if you want to bind this, you can take it further. You can bend the right knee, reach with your right hand. If you find the foot, kick into your hand. Let this pull your shoulder further back and stay open to the side. Keep breathing. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. With an inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands, slide your left foot back and come into low lunge. And then from low lunge, we're going to take it to warrior one. So with an inhale, drop your left heel, hands to your hips, and bring your torso all the way to upright. <laughs> now give yourself a moment to set up your stance. Deep under the right knee, left leg straight. Both feet are flat. Left foot points to the side at least a little bit. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Keep your hips squared, keep your hips low. And then once you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, vertical twist, right arm back, left arm forward, open up to your right side. Inhale, back to center, reach up high. Exhale, twist again, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale to center, arms up high. Exhale, one more time, right arm back, left arm forward, now hold here. Now keep your spine vertical, reach your arms out wide, look back toward that right hand. And keep your left hip pulling forward, keep your hips low, keep breathing. Now slowly, you take an inhale. And with the exhale, right hand comes to the back of the left thigh. Reach your left arm up. Now as your chest squares forward, bring your gaze up toward the ceiling. Now keep the right hip pulling back, left hip pulling forward, bend into that right knee. And feel all that length through the front of the left side. Just breathe here. When you're ready, you take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your gaze forward. And then just bring your hands to your low back. Now, interlace your fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back, keep your chest open. Now, we're going to take this to a fold, and this is not humble warrior, keep in mind, so take an inhale here. Now, with the exhale, keep the shoulders back, lead with your chest, hinge from the hips, and bring your torso down to touch the right thigh. Keep your gaze forward like this. Now, to take this back and forth, we're going to load the right leg, so shift your weight forward on the right foot, lift your left heel, and then just take it back and forth slowly. Your belly stays touching your right thigh. Now push your right foot, lean forward, lift the left foot up a little bit, and then bend the right knee, touch the left foot back down to the floor. Again, bring the weight to the right foot, and then press down, lift your left foot up off the floor, and then set your left foot back down. Belly stays on the right thigh, bring your weight forward, and then push into the right foot, lift the left foot up off the floor. Look forward, shoulders back, try to take it further, see about straighten that right leg even more. Belly still touching your thigh, maybe pull the knuckles away from your back. Now slowly here, take an inhale. And with the exhale, bend the right knee, set your left foot down, bring your left knee down to the floor. And we're taking this to a kneeling lunge. Go ahead, flatten the left foot, and then push into the right foot. Everything stacks to vertical from the left knee on up. And adjust as you need to. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Now once you're ready from here, ground down into the right foot, kick your left foot into the floor. And then go ahead, press your knuckles down toward the mat, open up your chest, bring your gaze up toward the ceiling. Now let your chest open up. Keep the front of the left side nice and long from the knee all the way through to the shoulders. Kick into your left foot, squeeze the glutes, and just breathe here. Maybe let your gaze do, go toward the back of the room. Now slowly, with an inhale, just walk your gaze along the ceiling, look forward. And then once you're upright, go ahead, release your grip. Now keep a half bind, right arm stays behind your back. Bring the left hand down inside the right leg. 
And we're going to take this into a half split variation. Start to walk the right foot forward. Whenever you're ready, press into the right heel, point the toes up toward the ceiling. And you can slide that heel forward if you like. Rotate the right big toe towards center, pull the right hip back, left hip forward. And then draw the right shoulder back and open up your chest to the right side. Now take it further. Bend the right knee if you need to, but touch your belly to your right thigh. Feel that stretch in the back of the right leg. And then if you want to take it further, see about bending that left elbow. Maybe reach the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. And if you take that grip, you can draw yourself further down into the fold and deeper into the twist with your right shoulder high. Just take things to where you can and just breathe here. Now everybody take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands to the floor inside your right leg. And then with your palms down, slide your right foot back behind your right wrist. And we're going to take that almost all fours position. So arms vertical, palms down, shoulders or wrists. Left knee stays down. Now the right foot's behind the right wrist, so lift the right heel and keep that knee high outside your arm. When you're ready, look forward. Bring your shoulders forward, pull the elbows in underneath you. Now lean away from the right leg, put your ribs on the left arm. Right leg goes to the right arm, lift the right foot. Now keep looking forward, keep leaning forward to lift your left leg. And if you want to take it further, still extend the right leg out to the side. Take this to where you can. And then when you're ready, go ahead, step it back, fly it back, take it to your vinyasa. And once you find your down dog, give yourself a moment, pedal around and breathe. From downward facing dog, we'll take all that to the other side. When you're ready, with an inhale, raise your left leg high behind you. With your left leg lifted, open up to a scorpion dog. Bend your left knee, hang your left foot right. Now let your hip open up, keep the shoulder squared. With your next inhale, straighten the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrists. Now inhale your left leg high. Exhale forward, knee to left elbow. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Stay here, stay lifted. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, set the left foot down outside your left hand. Now again, press in your palms, keep the arms vertical, shoulders or wrists. Move the hips straight up and down. And again, you can walk it or hop it on three. So one, two, three, back and forth. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, and three. Now it's right foot forward, left foot back, put the right foot between your hands. And then from here, the right foot's your base. Now bring all the way to the right foot, pull the left knee to chest, curl in, round your spine, keep your belly touching your right thigh. And we're gonna go back and forth from here to half moon again. Right hand stays down, forward to the right foot, but further right, lean to your right side. And take it back and forth. Inhale the left arm high, left leg back, open up. Exhale, curl back in. Inhale the left arm high, left leg back. Exhale, curl this in. Inhale, the left arm high, left leg back. Exhale, curl back in. Inhale, left arm high, left leg back. Now hold here. Now you can keep the right knee if you, bent if you need to, but straighten the leg if you can. Left shoulder stays high. At least bring your gaze left if not up. And then if you can take it further, you can bend your left knee, reach with your left hand. If you find that foot, kick into your hand, let it pull your shoulder back and open you up further to the left side. Now take an inhale. Exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Now from that fold, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. And then with the exhale, hands down, right foot slides back, low lunge. Now from your low lunge to warrior one, with an inhale, drop the right heel, hands to your hips. Bring your torso all the way to upright. And take a moment to adjust your stance here. Deep bend left knee, straight right, right leg. And then both feet flat, right foot points aside. And maybe about 45 degrees or so. Be sure you can pull the right hip forward and the left hip back and keep your hips squared. Adjust as you need to and sink your hips down. Now from here, when you're ready, with an inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, vertical twist, left arm back, right arm forward, open to the side. Inhale, back to center, arms up high. Exhale, twist again, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale to center, reach us up high. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale to center, arms up high. Exhale one more time. Left arm back, right arm forward. Now keep your twist. Hold your spine up or reach your arms out wide. Look back toward that left hand and keep your right hip pressing forward. Now 
Now slowly from here, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, left hand to the back of the right thigh, reach your right arm high. As your chest squares forward, bring your gaze up toward the ceiling. Now keep the right hip pulling forward, left hip pulling back, stay low on the hips. And just lengthen out the front of the right side here, keep breathing. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, just bring your gaze forward, both hands to your low back. Find the grip that feels strange. Interlace your fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back and keep your chest open. Now take an inhale here. With the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, bring your belly and the rest of your torso onto your left thigh. And keep looking forward, keep the fold, keep that contact with your left leg. Now when you're ready, shift a little bit more weight forward, lift the right heel. Back and forth the balancing, belly stays touching your thigh. Put the weight to left foot. Press into your left foot to lift the right foot a little bit up off the floor. Bend your left knee and touch your right foot down. Again, bring your weight forward. Push into the left foot, lift the right foot up off the floor. Bend your left knee and bring that right foot back down. Again, lean the weight forward. Press into the left foot, lift the right foot up off the floor. Hold your balance. Now keep your belly touching your thigh. You can bring that right leg up higher if you like. Keep breathing here. And then slowly take an inhale. Now with the exhale, bend the left knee, bring the right foot down, bring the right knee all the way down. And then flatten the right foot, take that kneeling lunge and bring yourself to upright. Everything stacks to vertical from the right knee up. Now kick into the right foot, press into the left, keep the hip squared, right hip forward, left hip back. And then when you're ready, press the knuckles down toward the floor, draw your shoulders back, bring your gaze up toward the ceiling, and keep your glutes engaged, the right foot's kicking down, keep your hips pressing forward. Now this is good enough, you can bring the hands lower, Maybe bring your gaze further back, but take this to where you can. And feel some of that stretch moving through the front of the right hip. Keep breathing here. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just slowly bring this upright. Look forward. Release your grip. Keep a half bind, left arm behind your back. Bring the right hand to the floor inside your left leg. And then take this to a half split variation. So lift the toes of your left foot. Slide that left heel forward and go ahead and lengthen that left leg out. Keep your hip squared here. Dig into the left heel. Rotate that big toe in towards center. Pull the left hip back and look for the stretch on the back of the left thigh. Keep your left shoulder pulled back. Stay twisted. Now to take it down lower, bend the knee if you need to, but bring your belly down to touch your thigh and maybe bend into that right elbow. If you want to take it further, you can use the right hand, take hold of the outside of the left edge of the left foot, and then maybe pull yourself further into the fold and deeper into the twist with your left shoulder high. Keep breathing here. And then take a deep inhale. Now with the exhale, just release. Bring both hands down inside that left leg. And keep the right knee down. Now slide that left foot back behind the left wrist, and this is your almost all fours position. Palms down, shoulders, wrists, dig your fingertips down. Now lift your left heel, keep the knee high outside your arm, and then take it toward that hurdler's balance. Shoulders forward, pull the elbows in underneath you. Lean over to the right side, put your ribs on the right arm. Left leg goes to your left arm, lift the left foot. Now keep looking forward, keep leaning forward to lift your right leg. Take this to where you can. And you can always extend that left leg as well, keep in mind. Take it through your vinyasa when you're ready. Once you find your down dog, give yourself a moment here, paddle things out. Once you find your down dog, let's take this into half pigeon. With an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. And then with the exhale, bring it forward, right knee behind your right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go ahead, bring your left knee down, flatten your left foot behind you. Pull the left hip forward, right hip back, keep your hips squared, sink your weight straight down. Now, you can take this however you like. You can stay here with your spine extended. You can go deeper to the back bend. You can melt down to the elbows to take it down all the way. And I'm going to cue this into a de deliberate twist if you're interested. So for that, just keep your hips squared, tuck the toes of your left foot. Now hover your left knee up off the floor, but keep it low. Left hip still pulls forward, both hips are still sinking down and the hips are squared. And then move the upper body toward a twist. Slide the left hand to just inside the right hand. And then pull your right hand back to the right knee. See about bringing it back toward the right hip. And then draw your right shoulder back. Look back over your right shoulder. Now keep the left hip pulling forward, both hips sinking down. If you can engage this further, curl the toes of the right foot and kick that right foot into the floor as you're twisting. And feel some of that stretch moving to the front of the left hip, moving to the hip flexors here.
All right, now slowly from wherever you are, bring your hands back to the mat just in front of that right shin. And then we'll take this to another pose. So when you're ready, pull your belly in and draw your hips back over the left knee. Step your right foot down between your hands. We want to work this toward a half split. So keep your belly touching your right thigh and walk your right foot forward. Now, whenever you're ready, just press into the right heel, point the toes up toward the ceiling, pull the right hip back, left hip forward, keep your hip squared, and look for that stretch on the back of the right thigh. The knee can be bent, and that's fine. Just keep the contact with the belly against the thigh. If you're going to take it further, you can slide that foot further forward, maybe straighten the leg completely. Dig into the right heel, pull that hip back, ro rotate the right big toe towards center. And if you want to take it toward the full split, you can tuck the toes of your left foot. Let the legs slide back, let your hips sink down, but still keep your hips squared. Right hip pulls back, left hip still pulls forward. Now, if you want to keep a forward fold, that'll emphasize the stretch on the hamstrings on the right side. And if you want to bring your torso more toward upright, that's going to take it more into the hip flexors on the left. And again, left hip forward, right hip back, even though I know it's easier just to go deep and open up to your left side. All right, now slowly, if it took it toward the full split, come back to that half split. Bring the left knee under your hips. And then from the half split, bring yourself to all fours with both knees down. Go ahead, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, come back to down dog. And let's take those two poses on the other side. With your next inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, bring it forward. Left knee behind your left wrist, the ankle somewhere behind the right. Go ahead, bring the right knee down, flatten the right foot behind you. Pull the right hip forward, keep it in line with the left. Sink your weight straight down. And look for at least some of that stretch on the left side. Now again, you can take this to deeper extension toward the back bend. You can melt down to the floor if you like. And if you want to take that more active twist, tuck the toes of your right foot. Hover the right knee just above the floor, but the right hip's still pulling forward. The hips are still sinking down, still squared. And then to move into the twist, bring the right hand just inside the left and pull your left hand back to the knee or into the left hip and draw that left shoulder back. Look back over your left shoulder to keep the right hip pulling forward. And if you can take this further, curl the toes of the left foot and kick that foot into the floor as well. And bring some of that stretch into the right hip flexor here. Now slowly, whether you twist it or the hands are forward, go ahead, bring your hands just in front of that left shin. And then pull your belly in, back the hips up over the right knee. Step your left foot down between your hands, belly to your left thigh. And then take it toward the half split on this side. Walk that left foot forward. Whenever you're ready, press the left heel down, point the toes toward the ceiling. Draw the left hip back, right hip forward, keep your hips squared, and keep your belly touching your thigh. Once you feel that stretch, just breathe into it. You can straighten your left leg, dig into the heel, pull that hip back, and maybe rotate the big toe towards center. And if you want the full split, tuck the toes of the right foot. Let your hips sink down, but the right hip's still pulling forward and the left hip's still pulling back. Work to square your hips. Again, you can stay folded here and emphasize the stretch on the hamstrings on the left side this time. Or bring yourself toward upright and take this into the hip flexors on the right side. Just take it to where you like. And from here, if you took it toward the full split, come back to that half split, right knee under your hips. From your half split, come down to all fours, bring your left knee down. And then go ahead and take your legs out from underneath you and come all the way down onto your back. Now once you're down, draw your knees into your chest and just squeeze everything in tight for a moment. And let's take this into a supine twist. So just go ahead and release your left leg and extend it out fully. And then bring the left hand to your right knee, right arm out to your side. Now go ahead, pull the right knee across your body, tuck your left hip underneath. Keep both shoulders down and bring your gaze to the right. Now this is good enough right here. If you want to take it further, you can use that left hand, press that right knee further toward the floor. And if you want to take it further still, maybe extend the right leg to the side. Now if you want to take it deeper, you can bind both legs. You can bend your left knee, reach down with your right hand. If you find that grip kick into your hand, 
And whatever version you take this twist into, keep the shoulders grounded. Now just breathe here. Take a deep inhale. Now with the exhale, just release this twist. Come back into center. Draw both knees in. And then go ahead and switch this out when you're ready. Extend the right leg straight. Right handy, left knee, left arm to the side. When you're ready, go ahead and tuck the right hip underneath you. Pull that left knee to the right side and keep both shoulders down. Bring your gaze left this time. Now look for the stretch in the outer left hip toward your low back. If you need more, you can press down with the right hand. And if you want to take it further still, go ahead and extend your left leg. And if you want that double bind, you can bend the right knee. Reach with your left hand. If you find the right foot, kick into it. And then keep both shoulders grounded, whatever version of the twist you're in. Keep breathing here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release. Bring it all back into center. Pull your knees and your chest side by side. And squeeze down. When you're ready, take this to happy baby. Reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of the feet. And then stack your ankles above your knees and draw down on both sides. Now work to press the knees toward the floor, outside your ribs. Press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. Keep the tension working both up and down. Try to flatten out your spine, sink your tailbone down low to the floor. And if you can take this further, you can rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, from wherever you are, take a deep inhale here. Drop down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And then just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat for a moment. And then when you're ready, just let yourself move again, bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. And stretch this out long. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out past your head. And then pull everything back in. Draw the elbows toward your chest, pull your knees up as well. And just take your time, find your way up to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself in the mat here, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. And then take a deep inhale, hold on to the top. And just let everything go. I think you're in class, namaste.